Welcome back everybody to the Sprinkler channel. Now we're gonna dive into the Hunter PGP, how to install a nozzle, how to choose the nozzle. Here we have a set of nozzles for the Hunter PGP. As you can see, there's some that are gray over here and some that are blue. What's the difference? The gray ones are low angle nozzles. The purpose of the low angle ones is so that way if you're in a windy area, and a lot of the water gets caught by the wind and it doesn't ever make it to the grass that the low angles will help it stay at a lower angle to be able to not get blown away with the wind low angle is shooting at 13 degree angle whereas the regular ones is 25 degree angle if you want to nerd out on that uh, there's that information what we'll notice here is they all have these little numbers on them and that's going to be important when we're selecting which nozzle to install Let's look at the charts. The charts are really important to understanding which nozzle we need to select for our given area, how much water flow is gonna, it gonna put out and, and all that. So let's take a look over here at the charts. Here we have all the information for the PGP specific, um, how it will shoot 22 to 52 feet, um, the re operating pressure ranges of 20 to 100 PSI. You can see on the right, we have the blue nozzles um, and the first, uh, nozzle identifier that will show you um, exactly these numbers that you see on your nozzles 1.5 all the way up to 8.0 of course as we increase the water flow will increase let's look at the 3.0 3.0 that's the nozzle that we're gonna install and so the uh, recommended pressure is 45 that's why it's in bold here so this is the column for pressure PSI. And ideally that's the pressure that you'll have at your sprinkler head. Of course that varies. You're gonna to have to check that and if you, if you wanna get exact um, or know exactly what the performance is gonna be for the nozzle. Um, so if it has 45 PSI, it's gonna shoot 38 feet. Um, if, if you didn't want it to shoot as far, then you would go down to one of these other 1.5. Still at 45 PSI, it's only gonna sh shoot 31 uh, feet. So that's how you can shorten the distance by changing out the nozzle if you don't need it to spray as far. So say we needed to go 38 feet, we're gonna install the nozzle 3.0. And just by way of information, the flow rate for that nozzle is gonna be 3.0. Uh, to kind of go along with the nozzle um, identifier 3.0. So three gallons per minute, not hour per minute. That's how much water is flowing out of that one single head every minute, three gallons. And equivalent precipitation rates, um, as, as comparing it to like rainfall, um, is 0.4 inches an hour. So if it were to rain uh, 0.4 inches outside, uh, you know, in the news it told you that, then that would be equivalent to this nozzle operating, you know, for an hour with the nozzle, right? And that's gonna be the same amount of precipitation or water that's gonna get to that area. Um, and you see the square formation. That did, up at the top, you'll see the square and the triangle. That just depends on the design of where the heads are placed, whether they're in a square formation or a triangular uh, formation, and that will affect some of the precipitation uh, rates as you can see there 0 0.4 or 0 0.46 so all right now that we've seen the charts now we're going to go ahead and install the sprinkler head so sometimes you can lift it up just with your hand like that if not uh, then go back get your tool put it in the pull out slot right there and there we go we have the head up and then we're just going to use this rainbird collar to kind of keep it up so we don't have to hold it with the spring and then this will help when we're installing the nozzle. Right now you don't have any nozzle, you're not gonna have any, any good sort of spray on your lawn without a nozzle. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna find the 3.0. So right here we have the 3.0 and all we're gonna do is just kinda twist it off. We're gonna break it off just like that. We're gonna make sure that there's no amount of plastic still sticking on there that's going to keep it from sliding into the place where we need to and and then once we have that we're going to make sure that it's it's facing upwards the screw is going to go right down into this spot right here 
all right? And that's gonna keep the, the nozzle from spraying out when the sprinkler comes on. So we're gonna make sure it's installed correctly just like that. And you wanna make sure that your screw is all the way up so it's not keeping the nozzle from sliding in. And then it's just gonna slide down at an angle into the head like that. So you'll just have to kind of use your fingers to press it in. And you just want to try to make sure that it's slid in all the way so it's not uh, sticking out past there. So you can kind of see right there, it's nice and flush with the front of the head. There it is like that. So if we did nothing else and we turn on the sprinkler head right now, the water's just going to push that nozzle out and you're just going to have a peace stream, right? So make sure that that opening right there is, is lined up with where the screw is going to come down. So that way we don't break the nozzle when we start screwing it down. So here we go. We're going to start screwing it down. You can see the nozzle coming in just like that. And I'm going to make sure. And then as we come in, it's going to go over the nozzle and keep the nozzle in place just like that nice and snug now if we were to keep screwing then you're going to see that it's going to start if the water was on you'd see it start deflecting the, the 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 spray of the sprinkler head which will ultimately decrease how far it throws the water out so that's one of the few adjustments that we went over in the other video but for now we're just going to keep it standard not deflecting any of the water just keeping the nozzle in there of course you know if you're covering only 90 degrees versus 180 they rotate at the same uh, rates so if you have the same nozzles on that 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 corner area that's only doing 90 degrees is going to get twice as much water as one that's doing a 180 and of course it's different if you're going 360 so you want to account for that when you're figuring out uh, the water flow out of each head so that way all the area is getting equally water on your lawn so if you ever needed to uh, take out uh, the nozzle of course you back the screw out and you can kind of use this right here on the side you see the little notch in there to kind of get this back behind here and then you can just pop it out like that and replace it with a different nozzle if you need to and there you have it that's how you install the nozzle and choose and look at the charts and figure out which nozzles you want all right, so hope that helps. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.